What's up Nachitos? Today we are back here for another video of Apex Legends. We're going to be talking about what they did to the R99 in Season 5. Because you're going to notice something's wrong here. Roll the logo. The R99 is one of the most favorite guns of many players out there. And the thing is that I think Respawn saw that in Season 4 and wanted to switch up some kind of things inside of the game. So let's get right into the firing range to talk about that. When going into the firing range, I will do tests with all of the light weapons that are currently on there. And at the end, I will give a great summary on why the R99 is actually the worst gun of all of the light guns right now. To start, I will do each test with the same kind of equipment. The gear will always be loaded out with the maximum uh, of uh, gear. So, meaning if we are testing the R99, it will have a golden barrel, it will have the extended light mag level 3, it will have the digital thread, and it will have the standard stock. Meaning all guns will, will be fully upgraded for every single test. Now this is exactly the same actually for the alternator. So for the alternator we have the same barrel, the same scope, the same things, everything's the same. So we can make sure that our test is a good one. Now to go over to the test we're going to look first at what's the, fir the, the fastest time to kill someone. So if we aim on this person and we shoot him it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it takes 12 bullets to kill someone by shooting all headshots um, and to get him down to zero health. Now let's do the same thing with the, with the alternator. So here we have 1, quack, quack. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it takes 3 bullets less for the alternator to give you the upper hand on someone. Now, there is a difference with how much damage output is there and how fast the gun is going to kill someone because the R99 has a higher rate of fire than the alternator. So what we need to test as well, of course, is how fast are both guns. So what I'm going to do for this test is I'm going to do a full reload. I'll make sure to get down to the bullet number that is supposed to be there and I'll put a timer right in the corner over there uh, for you guys to see. So let's just do this so I don't miss. Now, let's do the same thing for the alternator. First try. Now, if we're going to compare these times, which I'll probably do right now, you'll notice something. So, even though the damage output of the alternator is better than the damage output of the R99, the R99 shoots faster than the alternator. Meaning that if you're fighting in 1v1 combat and you have one guy having the alternator, you have the other guy having the R99 and their aim is at exactly the same level, the R99 will still win the battle. But in Apex, you're not just fighting one guy, you're fighting a lot of guys. Meaning, if you're going to shoot all enemies at a certain point in time, you will have to reload with the R99. Because its fire rate is higher than the one from the alternator, the chance that you'll miss your enemy is higher, wasting bullets, wasting more ammo, wasting another reload. While with the alternator, you have some time to really look at your aim and think about, okay, what am I going to do with this? And you'll have the chance to kill even all enemies at the same time, with just one clip if you shoot good enough. So, is the R99 then literally the worst gun of the light guns? We'll see. Apex has six light guns in total. The RE45, the P2020, the R301 Carbine, the R99 SMG, the Alternator SMG and the G7 Scout. Now, is the R99 the worst light gun? If we pick the G7 Scout with the double tap trigger enabled as well, you're gonna see that it just takes four bullets to kill someone. So nope, still the worst gun. If we're gonna take the R301, then you'll see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bullets, so the R301 is even better than the alternator. If we take the P20 with the hammer points enabled on it as well, you'll see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 bullets kill someone. So the P2020 even comes better than uh, the alternator right now. And last but not least, the RE45. 
the RD45 does 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, you would say then, haha, we have found a gun that is worse than the R99. Yes, it's worse. Yes. No, it's not. It's not. If you're going to compare right now why the R99 is literally the worst gun from the light guns, you're gonna see that the RE45 does just that little bit more of damage. While the fire rate, the RE45 just has a little slower rate as the R99. But what guns do I recommend? I would recommend to have a secondary weapon as the P2020 or maybe the G7 Scout, as those are two weapons that have very high damage rate. Now, as your main weapon, you can use any weapon you want. Maybe you can go for a Spitfire, you could go for the R99 even. I mean, it's your main weapon, it's your choice, it's your personal preference. But how can I really say such a thing without giving you proof? I'm coming with you, FQ. Oh, oh my god. One down. Oh no 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 Play behind me, play behind me. Ah I wanted to get shields. Man, the P20 man, it's strong. It's strong. Okay, I know it wasn't proof. I really know it wasn't proof, but I hope you get my hammer point. Hey, 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 yeah. So that was the end of this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe on the YouTube. I can ring that bell icon so you make me a happy Nachito. You want to become a Nachito as well? Join the Discord or you can join us on Facebook and on Twitch as well. I stream every Tuesday and every Saturday and every Thursday a new video comes out. Now, maybe I can interest you with this one over here. Goodbye Nachitos and share your smile. Bye bye. Oh, wait, there's a G7. Quack, quack. Nice. Nice choice. You got good taste. There we go. I really need to sacrifice my R99. Yes. <laughs> oh, but we can do it. Yeah. Oh, portal, 